and in this video I'll show you how to make these decorative replacement bra straps. I love how this project turned out. There are so many times when I don't really want to use any of the options on my convertible bras and a convertible bra is the kind where the straps have hooks on the ends and you can attach or detach them. And let's face it, strapless bras just don't work half the time. Sometimes you just need a bra. Maybe you're wearing a really thin fabric, you've got unruly nipples, I don't know. You do you, you just wanna wear a bra. This is for those occasions. If you wanna see more DIYs like this one, let me know in the comments below. If you're not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell next to it so you get updates when I post new videos. Follow me on social media at Katrinaosity. Check out my podcast at mdxpods.com. And if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. It really helps my videos get seen. For this project, you'll need some thin elastic, an applique without adhesive, scissors, lingerie strap sliders, I'm using figure eights because they're what I had on hand, as well as swimsuit bikini hooks, thread, and a needle. Begin by measuring your top straps of elastic. You'll want this measurement to go from the top of your bra to the inner point of your scapula or shoulder blade. So the point of your shoulder blade that is closest to your spine to the top of your bra strap, then add 50% to that measurement. So it should go one and a half times from the top of your bra to your shoulder blade point, and then cut a second one using your first one as a template so that you have two straps of the exact same length. Next, cut the lower straps, and this measurement should go from the bottom of your shoulder blade to the top of the back of your bra strap. And again, you should add 50% to this measurement before cutting and cut a second one to that exact same length. Now these are going to be adjustable with the slider, so you don't have to worry too much about them, but you don't want them to be too loose as long as you can tighten them up to be the correct measurement or loosen them as needed. Next, attach your bottom straps to the bottom of your applique Okay. Since I'm using a butterfly, it is nice to have these discernible corners of the applique and I'm also overlapping it quite a bit over the body of the butterfly because there's more stitching there and it makes it a lot more solid if you can stitch this elastic to a larger area. So of course you're going to want to overlap it as much as possible to cover as much area as possible. Then use matching thread, tie a knot in the end of your thread, pull it all the way through your applique and your elastic and then begin stitching. You won't want to go around the outside of your applique because then it will just bunch up, but just insert the needle a little ways through the elastic and the applique, then turn the tip around and pull it back out. You don't have to pull all the way through either side of the applique and elastic. You can just hook the end of your work onto it and then pull the needle straight back through without ever letting go of it. Then once you've sewn that first side of elastic on as much as possible, position your second side and you're going to want the angle of these to line up as well as possible from the inner point of your spine to the tops of your bra strap where the hooks for your adjustable bra are naturally resting. Then when you're done with the bottom straps, you're ready to attach the top straps. You'll do the exact same thing again, laying them out on a flat surface, positioning the angle first and then stitching them into place. Place. Once they're sewn on, you're ready to start adding all of the other hardware. Begin with your slider, and you'll want to hook the slider on to the elastic twice, so your elastic is going up one side of the slider and then down through the other side, and it should look something like this with the middle of it concealed when you look at it from the top. Then add the swimsuit bra hook and double the end of the elastic back over itself so that it's coming back to the center of your slider underneath. It should look something like this when you pull that elastic loose over the slider. Then take the end of the elastic and pass it back through the closest side of the slider to the end with the hook. And you're just going to loop that around inside the larger loop that you already have existing there. Then turn it around and bring it back down the other side of the slider and pull the end through. You don't want to have too much excess on this loop. Get it as small as possible so that you can comfortably sew it. But you don't want to be wasting a whole lot of your elastic in that little loop because it's not really going to be doing anything. Then you're going to stitch through this section and just sew that elastic to itself, making sure that the center of your slider is encased in that small loop. 
You'll want to make sure that you don't stitch this too close to the end of the elastic because then it could just unravel and come undone as soon as you put this on. So you'll want to encase the edge of that elastic in thread, but you don't want all of the stitching to be right up on that edge. You want to have some substance where it's going to grab onto the elastic and hold it in place. So I recommend you do a really wide stitch, encase the end of that elastic, and then have about a centimeter between the very end of it and where your stitching ends. Then once you've sewn that thoroughly into place and you're sure that it's going to hold, you can tie it off and cut your thread. Then do the exact same thing on the other strap, except with that hook pointing in the opposite direction so that they're a mirror image of one another, and you should have something like this. Then you're ready to add your hooks onto the bottom straps. You're not going to use sliders for these, just the hooks. You're going to loop the end of the elastic through the loop on the hook and then stitch that into place the exact same way you stitched your other elastic straps, making sure you're not too close to the end of the elastic and making sure that you have enough substance to those stitches that it's not just going to unravel and come undone as soon as you put this on. Then tie it off and trim your threads and that is your finished product project. You have sliders on the top to make those straps adjustable and then the bottoms are stationary. I recommend when you put this on you hook in the bottoms to the back of your bra first and then lean over forward and grab the top straps and then hook those into place on the front of your bra. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more DIYs like this one, let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. It really helps my videos get seen.